Welcome between these hallowed hedges, Sanford Stadium in Athens, Georgia, home to the Georgia Bulldogs, where they've had a little chicken, they've had a little drink, and friends, it's time once again to let the big dogs eat. Today, a top 25 matchup on hand, two of college football's premier teams preparing to square off. As we'll see, the number 20 team in the country, the Ole Miss Rebels, taking on the second-ranked team in the land, the Georgia Bulldogs. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis, joined here in the booth by David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. And guys, let's get this thing started. And the Rebels will kick it away to start us off. On the move from inside is five. Good job by the coverage unit to put a stop to that return. So the Georgia Bulldogs will be in a hole thanks to that short return. And this guy is a big time star. Just an electricity follows him onto the field. He's a workhorse too, Reese. This is a definition of a bell cow running back. He can carry the load for his offense and put his football team on his back. Nudges ahead for one out to the 16. And a nice second effort by the back to break a tackle. But how about those defensive backs willing to come up, stick their face in the fan, and make a tackle? Those are the best run defenses too, right? It's not just D-linemen and linebackers getting all the plays, but it's DBs that are willing to not just cover, but tackle backs in the open field. To the air, it's back. Looking down the middle. Complete downfield. And an explosive play has him on the move, and he gets it all the way to the 48-yard line. A nice job by the offense there, attacking the middle of the field. Excellent route, finding the soft spot in the defense. Nice job by the quarterback, putting it right on his gut. A big explosive play carries them into plus territory. They'll snap it first and 10 from just across the 50. Hand off from the gun. A solid pick up there before the defense is able to make the stop. I, I like it. Just frustrate the defense. Get that five to six yards. Make them honor the run. Make them know that you're willing to run the football and run it effectively. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. He's looking to throw. Grabbed in the backfield. It's ETN. And he is going to lose yardage. Nowhere to run as he is forced out of bounds. Now facing a third and long. From the gun, wants to pass. Caught over the middle. It's Lovett. His defense giving up ground. He's finally knocked down at the 26. Third down, a lot of times it comes down to not necessarily who's the most open, who do you trust the most? No, it's not about the X's and the O's. It's about the Jimmy's and the Joe's. And when my guy's better than you and I get you matched up out wide and I know I trust you, I'm finding you. Wide receiver now comes in motion. Out of the gun, the inside handoff to the running back. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. You know, defensively, you live by the blitz and you die by the blitz. That time, they dialed it up into the run play and the linebacker able to make a nice tackle. Got some work to do after that last play. Second and 13. They go to the draw. Dropped after a pickup of three down to the 26. And the running back didn't get much there. Nice job by the defense. You can tell they're focused in on this running back, on this run game, being physical, getting knockbacks, and limiting his carries. The seventh play of this opening drive will be a third and long. Back to pass. It's back. Fires to the big fella. Early in the game, pass complete, great job, sets up a manageable fourth down. We're going to set the tone early in this game. We're going to be aggressive. Yes, we're going for it. It's fourth down, and they'll try the field goal. And he'll envision the ball flight as he lines it up from the right hash and 38 yards out. 
It is perfect. And that'll put the first points of the game on the board. It's three to nothing. This is a team that really prides themselves on starting fast. We've seen that before, and here they are playing at home today. Nice job on the opening drive. Lots of poise, good emotion. They don't get the touchdown they would have liked, but they kick a nice field goal. They've got the lead. Head coach has to be happy with them. So they're lining up to kick it off after that last drive. Put a three spot on the board, and now the defense will try to shut him down. Here he comes from inside his own five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. The Rebels' offense will go to work for the first time today. And David, we'll see just how effective they can be on the ground running against a backer like this. But they're going to do what they do, and they're going to feature their guy. He's an elite running back. You're a great linebacker. Let's see who wins this battle. There have been entire defenses that haven't been able to slow this running back down. This linebacker, though, he's got the athleticism to do it himself. The Rebels headed quickly to the line. Dialing up a second down pass play. Pulls it in, it's Wells. Dragged down to the turf, but not before getting the first down. They pick up the first down on the drag route. Good job by the receiver knowing it was man coverage. If he's looking, he's booking. He gave his quarterback the eyes right away that says, hey, I'm not stopping. Put it out in front of me. I'm getting this first down. You can barely hear yourself thinking here as they're trying to get this defense off to a good start. Wants to throw. It's dark. It's complete to the left. A seven-yard pickup. It'll be second and three. I love early in the game getting my quarterback in the rhythm. Coming out, short passes, easy completions. Now we're getting in a good spot. Second and short now after that completion. The give to the left side. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Listen, I know there are a lot of DBs out there that all they want to do is get interceptions and dance in the end zone. This dude likes to put his face in the fan, get close to the line of scrimmage, and tackle. And on the opening drive that he's out there, he gets a huge tackle for loss early. That is a statement play. On the move, it's Parrish. Not a whole lot of room to run. Let's give him a couple. And the Rebels send out the punt unit. The punter going to get his first work of the afternoon. Not going to risk a return here. He'll make the fair catch. We're ready to get another look at this Bulldog offense. They've got the lead here. Last time they settled for a field goal, but David got to find that balance between being aggressive and careful. Man, I think they'll take that. I got the lead, Palmer. I got the football. I got to take care of the football, put a nice drive together, and just get some kind of points on this drive. No doubt. Lots to be happy about right now if you're this team. I think for this one, though, on this drive, it's about finding the one-on-one -on -one matchups that are in your favor and then exploiting them. Out of the gun, the running back has it. A collision, and he stopped at the 27 after picking up one. And that was a nice second down run and setting up third and inches. And now it's physical time, right? Like, they know you might run the football. You know you probably want to run the football. How can you be more physical? Sometimes bring some extra bodies, some extra tight ends in. Go to that play that you know is your short yardage play. They move the tight end all over. Dropping back, it's back. Trying to get to it. And he just throws it away on third down. I don't think you can give up on a play like that. Well, they try to catch the defense napping. They're third and short on their own side of the 50, and everyone's thinking run. They go past, but the defense wasn't fooled, so the QBs just got to throw that one away. Number Georgia sends out the punt team. To kick it away. A 
fair catch called for and made. The Ole Miss offense ready to go back to work. That last drive won't go on the highlight reel after ending in a punt. They'd like to be more productive this time, David. And I think this offense has to be a little bit more balanced. Find a little balance between the run, Jesse, and working in that pass. And I think, too, David, it's just going to take a spark. It just takes one play to get this thing picked up and going. The Rebels in the hurry up. He wants to throw. Got it behind the line. It's Wells. He's brought down, but he went backwards after that completion, not the way they had it drawn up. I mean, getting suffocated right away. How about the DB? Just seeing that initially, pulling the trigger, getting to him, get him on the ground, get the tackle for him. Up tempo for the offense. Pulls and fires it complete to the right. And good coverage by the defense, just a short game. Such a great job by the defense, winning on early downs. What does that mean? Now it means third and long. Third and long, now I go to dive packages, to nickel packages. I'm taking linebackers off the field and bringing on DBs to really cover more guys and have more speed on the field. Back to pass, it's dark. He's got his man. That'll be enough for a first down as he crosses the 50 and gets it to the 48. Hard work pays off, guys. These offenses work so hard week in, week out, working on those critical down and distances, third downs. And having that conversion this early in the game, that's got to feel good for this offense. And the Rebels are flying down the field. Looking to go up top on first down. Caught near the sideline, it's Wells. And not much doing there as that defense runs him out of bounds. Well, we knew coming into this game, this offense was going to try and get this receiver involved and get him involved early. So here they are just finding an easy completion. It's not a touchdown, but they just want to get this guy lathered up and get him into a run. Trying play action. Pressure coming. And the defense is all over the quarterback, and down he goes. If there's ever been a position group that sort of identifies with the team's mascot, it would be the bulldog mentality of this Georgia front. Those hunkering down dogs up front, they got to hunker down and stop the run and be physical, and then again, guess what? It gets into passing situations. Now I'm quick. Now I'm on the edge. Now I'm making that quarterback's life a living this defense on third down intercepted he'll try to take it back and they'll close in on him after a good return on the interception and that's the danger about being in a third and long situation you've got to push the football downfield the defense is expecting it. so they've got guys in the back end with their eyes on the qb they're able to make the interception this offense is going to have to do a better job generating better plays early in drives moving forward And Georgia ready to go back to work on offense. They had to punt it away on their last possession, but man, what great field position this time. I mean, this is awesome. Like, last possession didn't go great. Now you're set up in an opportunity to get some points, start thinking about what plays I like, Jesse, as I cross the 50. There are a lot of offensive coordinators out there, David, and in this position, they like to take a shot right away and try and capitalize on this field position. They'll start this one from the 29 on first down. Use the play fake. Now to throw. Quickly complete. He's run out of bounds, but not before. Turning in a big pickup and moving the sticks for a first down. And that's just a great individual effort by the wide receiver. He catches this ball way short of the sticks, but because he's able to make the defender miss, now he's able to get the extra yards and turn that into an explosive play. From the 14-yard line, it's first and 10. Looking to move it through the air. 
Catch in the middle, it's Young. That completion takes them down to the seven yard line and they are ready to strike. Man, that quarterback knew that was a tiny window to throw into and he just showed off his cannon of an arm. Going to work on second down in the red zone is still some ground to cover to pick up that first down. Looking for room, it's Etienne. He'll be brought down at the five yard line and this defense is on its heels. Not a lot of ground to cover and not much to defend. A big third down in the red zone. They'll try to pick up the first through the air. Grabbed in the middle, it's Evans. Can't quite cross the plane to get the six, but they'll have the first down. And I like it, third down and short, and this offense stays aggressive, and now they're set up. Forget the field goal. We're not looking for three now. Now set up in a first and goal, trying to get a touchdown. Georgia heads to the line with a first and goal. They'll try to get it in with the run. And he takes it in for a score. Touchdown Bulldogs. Precision blocking up front. Created the open lane and the running back followed it beautifully. Yeah, um, it's pretty easy to follow an offensive line that makes those holes and just gives you a caravan all the way to the end zone. What an unbelievable job blocking up front. Climbing up to tack one more onto that lead. And with the extra point, they pushed the lead out a little further. So that scoring drive took only six plays. And they closed the deal, pushing their way inches into the end zone. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. And it'll come out to the 25. No attempt at a return. Ole Miss ready to send the offense onto the field. After that last pick, David, they really need to take care of the ball this time. No doubt. And, and Palmer, I want to know what Spurrier said to you on the sideline after a pick. Do that again, and you'll be right here beside me for the rest of the game. <laughs> you got to go out. You got to call your plays. And I hope this coaching staff isn't going to be afraid to throw at this drop. Last incompletion leaves them still sitting at their own 25 with second and 10. Couldn't connect on first down, now back to the air. Trying to get rid of it. Nowhere close on that one as he got drilled trying to deliver the football and now they face third down. Well, we're only in the first quarter, but already this defense is making their presence felt. We've seen time and time again their ability to rush the passer and get hits on this QB. His toughness is going to get tested. Back to throw. It's Dart. Fires to the wideout. Got his man downfield. And he almost ran away from everybody on that one. A huge pickup on that play. And listen, the defense knew coming into this one they were going to target him early and often. He is a weapon, and there's no mystery where the quarterback's going to be looking on critical down and distances. Let's see how they're able to cover him throughout the rest of this game. Off the play fake on first down to throw. He's got an open man. Good, solid pick up there. Now they can start to smell it with a first down at the 31. Really nice job by the quarterback understanding I needed to throw this ball hard. Like, I got to fit it in there tight. And a nice job by the wide receiver wearing it because he really didn't have a choice because he was going to wear that one regardless. The Rebels will hustle to the line. Power football with the run. I'll tell you, this is a running back who's very, very dangerous, and the defense did a good job getting him down there. But they got to do a great job gang tackling because this is a guy that can break tackles and turn those types of plays into home runs. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. He's looking to throw. Caught in the backfield, it's Parrish. The defense wouldn't let him loose there, and it was a completion, but they lost yardage. And a really nice job by the defense winning second down. I think the quarterback thought he could dump this off, maybe get some positive yards, set up a good third down. The defense did a great job responding and getting that running back on the ground. On third and long, he's 
going to have to turn one loose downfield. And the defense picks up a sack, getting the quarterback down at the 44. On third and long, the blitz pretty much puts the offense out of its misery with the sack. Yeah, and it's so tough for the offensive line when you get in these situations and you know all these fast athletes are going to be getting after the quarterback. Who's coming? Who's not coming? This is why you try to stay out of third and longs because bad things happen. And how about this? They're going to send the kicker out there to try to put a thunderfoot into one. No good. Guys, that field goal couldn't loom large, missing an opportunity to get within a touchdown. We're still sitting on a 10-point game. Another look at this Bulldog offense. Jesse, a very productive drive last time wound up with a touchdown. Yeah, mixing and matching play calling really well. Nice balance on that last one, David. Let's see what they can do here in this next drive. Yeah, and I don't expect anything different. When you put together a drive like that, I would do more of the same. Keep the pace, keep it going. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. Motion from the offense. Keeps it on the bootleg, looking to throw. Pockets, and here's a fumble way behind the line. The D scoops it up, and everybody reverses field. Touchdown, Ole Miss! Not content to get the fumble, they scored with the fumble. And the defense comes with the blitz. Nice job getting to the quarterback. And don't just get there. Try to strip that football out. They get the QB to the ground. The ball's out. They scoop it up. Take it all the way back to the house for six. Now they'll line up for what they hope is automatic. And the PAT will draw them one point closer. That is a defensive player's dream. Ball sitting there, chance to scoop it up, one with it, and they don't stop you until the band starts playing. The kickoff team just about set to go, and that defense is eager to get back out there after the scoop and score. Let's see if he can make a play on the return. There to make the tackle, and that's how we'll wrap up this first period. We're through one, and what a back-and-forth battle between these two quarterbacks as we look at the stats. They are lined up and ready to go and get things started here in the second. And Georgia ready to go back to work on offense. Wide receiver shows motion. Looking for space. It's ETN. Pushes ahead for two. They'll mark it at the 17. The run game just has not been working for this offense all game long. You saw it on that last play as well. Just not getting enough push up front on the offensive line. They haven't been physical. After picking up a couple, it's second and eight. Off the play fake. They're bringing heat. And this sophomore able to wreak some havoc and get the sack. But when it's a play action pass, that quarterback, he really has to sell the fake. He can't tell his offensive lineman's getting beat right away while he's selling the fake. He had no shot. You make up the game plan and not a lot on the play sheet for this. Third and long from inside their own 20. Dropping back, it's back. Zings it complete to the right. Put it right on him, sweet play, good pick up and they'll move the chains with the first down. That's a great lesson for young quarterbacks out there. You don't have to force every football deep down the field. I know it's third and long and that play definitely is designated to go to a wide receiver somewhere, but hey, Check it down to your running backs. These guys are great athletes, and they can make good things happen when you give them the ball in space. 
They'll throw it on first down. Snagged in the middle. It's Bell. There to make the tackle, but the big throw is good enough to give them a first down. So it's not just a strong running game. The dogs can be dangerous with those weapons up top. And I think when you've seen Georgia really dominate in college football over the last several years, it's because they've been more aggressive, more willing to throw the football early downs, trust their quarterback, not just the ground game. Still running at the 40. And chunk plays are the name of the game, and they get one here before the defense finally makes a stop. One of the things I love about this offense, Reese, is they have tons of speed. They like to try to get the ball going east-west. That time, they generate a huge play going to the right side. And the defense either not fast enough to fit or got knocked out of the fit. Yeah, they got to do a better job containing that as this game goes on. They got to funnel the football back to the middle of the field. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Well, there's a statement by the defensive line. First down play, expecting run, and they just dominated up front. Beat their one-on-ones and forced a tackle for a loss. This drive facing a little adversity on second and 11. Give to the running back. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. How about that defense? In the backfield, nowhere to go right away. You could tell they were playing the run game all the way, and they got in the backfield and got the tackle for a loss. Seventh play of the drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. To the air. It's back. They're trying to get to it. And this sophomore able to wreak some havoc and get the sack. Man, that's a great example of KYP. Know your personnel. A QB that doesn't run great, trying to get outside of the pocket. Nice job by the defense applying pressure and running him down and getting the huge loss. Georgia lining up to punt it away. On to kick it away. And the ball will bounce at the four and find its way into the end zone for a touchback. The Ole Miss offense ready to go back to work. You want to talk about taking the wind out of your sails, drive the ball down the field, and miss the field goal, David. You know what? Don't leave it up to kickers. Execute better offensively. I think you move the ball nice. you got to keep that in mind. But, Paul, I think you got to stay aggressive and don't settle for field goals. Yeah, because you got to know there's just no margin for error right now. You just have got to be able to execute at a higher level. And the Rebels come to the line in the hurry-up. Leaves it with the back. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. And that seemed a little off in the start, didn't it? That was a big-time play, and it was off in the start because of the play he made. And I don't think it would have mattered who was playing running back. There was absolutely nowhere to go. Here comes this home crowd as the defense tries to get off the field on third down. On the ground, it's Parrish. And he's not going to make it. The defense denying him the first down. The Rebels will bring the punt team onto the field. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. Slips through the line. This guy is a daring punt return man. He's not going to settle for the fair catch. A solid return gets a little bit of ground for the offense. Looking for a man. It's back. They're setting up the screen. Didn't have much room to run and not a whole lot of help. Short game there and still plenty of ground to cover for the first down. And so many things have to come together perfectly for a screen to work for big yardage. And they were close. You could tell that almost busted, but they just got wrapped up. Got a little bit of yardage, but they really wanted that one to be a big game. Quarterback wants to throw on second down. Unloads to the wideout. Field. 
That is exactly what you're looking for when you talk explosive plays. The defense finally able to make the stop. Nice play design on that one. You make it easy for your quarterback, too, because it's easy to see what's happening right in front of you. Over the middle of the field, you can see where defenders are dropping. You can see where the soft spots are in zone coverage. And just a really nice job by the QB locating his guy and making an accurate throw. That completion gets them inside the 10, and the defense is running out of room to defend. The thing I like about this slot receiver, he's really intentional in his route running. The quarterback always knows exactly where he's going to be on the field. They've got great chemistry together. Operating in the red zone here on second down. He's looking to throw. On to attempt the try. And with the extra point, they're now up by a touchdown and a field goal at 10. Quick work on that scoring drive, just four plays. And they cap things off with a nine-yard touchdown pass. Kickoff team is on the field. They'll try to drive this one deep. And he takes this from inside the five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. Ole Miss ready to send the offense onto the field. They are trailing by 10 here, Jesse, but this is the type of team that seems comfortable in an offensive shootout. You got to hold serve at this point, right? You got to drive the field, put some more points up on the board. Yeah, they just scored. You can answer that now and keep this thing close, David. And I think you're used to that as offense. Like... Football is so fast-paced now, and you score so quickly. It's not that big of a deal to get down 10. You keep being you, keep being aggressive. And the Rebels want to crank the tempo. All kinds of room to throw that one in there. He knew exactly where he wanted to go with that one, and they've got enough for the first down. And there you see the bind that the RPO play can put a defender in. That linebacker had to make a decision. Was the running back going to get the ball? He thought so, so he bit up, and that allowed the slant to be thrown in behind him. Now from the 40, it's first and 10. Moving the running back, forcing the defense to adjust. Quarterback now on the run, still looking. He turns this into a nice gain and gets down to avoid the hit. This is why everybody grows up and wants to be an offensive coordinator and not a defensive coordinator, because he can do that. He drops back. He's supposed to pass, but you know what? I'll just scramble around, and I'll, I'll just go get plenty of yards and pick them up and put them down, and I'm faster than most of your other guys, too, so good luck stopping him. From the gun, the give, looking for room. All right, well, the offense here, they're trying to get this run game established. They obviously don't break off a long run there, but they're just trying to find their footing at this point. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. Dropping back. It's Dart. Grabs it in the middle. He's close to the first down, but they're going to mark him just a little short. I like the slot receiver because it gives his quarterback a good option working the middle of the field. He's a nice weapon in this offense. Decibels rising as the crowd gets behind this defense on third down. They'll try to run for it. Just what they'd hoped for on third down is they've got a first at the 32. You wonder now on offense, have they found something in the run game? Finally, it's been tough for them to get the run game going, but they picked up a nice gain on that last one. Let's see if they go back to it. The Rebels have it with a first and 10. Pre-snap motion in the backfield. 
off the play fake on first down. Grab behind the line. It's Lee. Excellent job working through the air there, finding a hole in that defense and picking up a first down. Big play in the passing game there, and I like the receiver gearing down in the zone. Did a nice job finding the soft spot on defense between the defenders, giving the quarterback an easy target to throw to to complete that throw. Didn't pick up a lot there, moved it forward just a few. Must be nice for this quarterback knowing he's got this type of athlete playing the tight end position. They can work the middle of the field for him. He's a guy who can stretch it vertically as well, but this is a guy the QB will look for early and often in this game. And the Rebels moving quickly to the line. Quarterback on the keeper. And he has a solid game before the defense bottles him up. Man, these read options are so hard to diagnose, just like right there. He picks up a little chunk of yards, not a big chunk, but it's so easy when you run the read options. Why is that? Why is it easy? Because if you want to play fast to the football, well, then fine, I'm going to pull the ball right now and to use your aggressiveness against you. But if you want to sit back, then fine, I'm going to give the ball right now and, and get a little chunk of yards. He's there to make the stop, but not before he sets up this offense first and goal from the seven. Defenses are put in such a tough spot when offenses get in third and short because the whole playbook is open and they go with the pass. I love it. They sneak the pass in there. Nice success. Great job by the quarterback getting rid of the football, getting the first down, now set up first and goal. Hit hard as he released the ball on that first down pass and it never had a chance. Doesn't take this defense a lot of time to get to the quarterback, man. They've got speed all over the place. They hit him so quickly, and because of that, the ball falls incomplete. Defense rolls up deep in its own end on that last play. Now a second and long coming. To the air. It's dark. He's right on target. That throw and catch gets him down to the six, and the defense is running out of answers. If you're going to get first downs against this defense, you're going to have to earn it. You're going to have to make people miss. This is an excellent tackling unit. You saw it on that last play. So loud, it's rattling your fillings on third and goal. From the gun, wants to pass. Moves around to clear up the vision. And the quarterback is knocked down back at the 13. What a great job by this defense setting the tone early. In the first half, they've been hitting the quarterback early and often. Make him feel uncomfortable. Make him feel that pressure. Keep getting him on the ground. That's why they've built a lead. Now on fourth down, they'll send out the field goal unit. Between the uprights, it's good. Hold on just a second, guys. Back on the floor. You must protect the kicker when he's in a defenseless position like that. That penalty's going to give the offense a first down. Wants to go up top. Pressure in his face and he lets it fly. Hit hard just as he released it on first down and just couldn't get it to the receiver. Can the D deny them on second and goal? They'll run it. He pushes his way down to the four as they get closer and closer. This has been really good for the defense, too. It's kind of a bend-don't-break mentality, right? Really bowing up with your backs against the wall. If you can win this next third down, try to force the opponent into a field goal. That's a win if you're on defense. We've made our way to the two-minute warning, and now they'll try to at least cut a little something off of this lead before the break. Third down, and this crowd will blow out a vocal cord to help this defense. Looking to throw, it's dark. Looking to the end zone. 
It falls incomplete. He was trying to find his man for six. Third and short in college football today. You see so much more pass than you used to. The offense stays aggressive. And I think they stay aggressive because they know they're in field goal range. They got that three in their back pocket. Now on fourth down, they'll settle for a field goal try. And this will be a short one from about 21 yards out. Right down the boulevard. It's good. That makes the score. So after putting three on the board, the kickoff team is out there ready to boot it away. And he'll just take a knee, and this drive will start at the 25. We're ready to get another look at this Bulldog offense. Jesse looking to take it down the field for back-to-back -back touchdowns. I think it's really important for them moving forward, too, to have a lot of balance, right? You want to be able to keep this defense guessing, Paul. Dan, you got me searching for answers after that last drive. You stack another drive on top of this, their defense's heads are going to be spinning all over the place. That last completion sets him up on second down. He's looking to throw. Finds his tight end. At the 45 on his way. And they'll finally catch up to him, but not before a big chunk of yardage is picked up. It's amazing in college football, the tight end position and how much has changed. Back in the day, you're a blocking guy. Maybe you catch a flat route. Today, these guys have athleticism, and you just saw it from that dude after the catch on that last one. Now it's a first down from the 43-yard line. Setting up the screen. He will step out of bounds, but not before the big pickup and a first down for this offense. Well, this offense has come out slinging the mill. They are throwing it. They are trying to be aggressive. We're only in the second quarter, guys. Already, this guy has over 200 yards passing. Georgia ready to dial it up on another first down. Looking for a man. It's back. He looks that one in nicely. They make the stop right there. Good pickup, but still short of the first down. This slot receiver gives defensive coordinators nightmares. You have got to double him virtually on every pass play. He better have safety help over top. Otherwise, this guy's a threat to score every time they throw the ball. Let's see what they've got on second down. The clock will stop with this timeout from the offense. They'll get a chance to regroup on the sideline. Second down coming up. He's looking to throw. A little screen to the running back. And that defense is there to guide him out of bounds after a short game. No screen plays. You really want to sell it. Get it to your running back and get him to the second level. Get him running full head of steam on a safety, on a linebacker. He almost got going, but just got tackled before he could really do any damage. Wants to throw on third down. Using the quick game. Nice pitch and catch there, and they'll have enough for the first down. He threw that one with some serious heat. This senior quarterback doesn't need a lot of space to get it in there. Now down to the 12-yard line. It's first down. He's looking to throw it. Makes the catch. And he will score. Touchdown, Georgia. And this receiver is on fire. He's got all the skills that you look for in a big-time target. And that's already his second touchdown of the game. They'll try to add another to their lead. 
And the extra point pushes the lead to 14. 76 yards on the drive for the touchdown. And the score comes on a 12-yard touchdown pass. The kickoff team out there set to boot it away. Looking for an alley from inside his own 10. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. Inside 30 seconds to play in the half, we'll see how aggressive they are on this drive. Give to the back. May not be the most memorable play of the day, but it's important as he gets them out to the 25-yard line. That's the end of the second quarter. That means it's time to join Kevin in our halftime update. Thanks, men. The end of a very entertaining first two quarters of football in Athens. And it's been a clinic in fundamental defensive football. Both teams have been relentless and ball hawking, refusing to give an inch. This is the kind of slugfest that real football fans love. Crushing tackles and dudes flying into gaps and passing lanes. A testament to the discipline both of these teams have shown. And with that, let's send it back to the fellas between the hedges in Sanford Stadium. Bring it out. It's Bentley. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes and they'll stop him at the 16. The Ole Miss offense ready to go back to work. Off the play fake on first down. Wants to throw. Got his man. And works it to the 40-yard line. That'll be a first down. You know, the defense doesn't have an answer for this slot guy right now. They may want to think about bracketing him, having a defender play to the outside and to the inside. Probably some sort of zone coverage where you're trying to get two bodies, forcing the quarterback to have to go somewhere else with the ball. Unloads quickly. They make the stop after the catch and still some work to do to pick up that first down. The Rebels want to move quickly. Caught in the backfield, it's Parrish. The defense wouldn't let him loose, and even though it's a completion, they lost yardage. And listen, if I'm the quarterback, I'm trying to dump the ball off to my playmaker and make this a manageable third down. It's something positive, but how about the defense just reacting so fast, getting to the running back, and getting that sucker on the ground in the open field. Back to throw, it's Dart. He's going to let one fly down the middle. Pass on the way. It's picked off. And after making the interception, a terrific return to put his offense in great field position at the 42. That's a bit of a gut punch if you're the offense because when it at halftime, you made your adjustments. You're feeling good about your game plan coming here in the second half. And right away, you throw an interception to the defense. And Georgia ready to go back to work on offense. They unleashed an aerial assault last time that took them right to the end zone, David. So, Reese, with that drive, I think you've accomplished something you wanted to accomplish. Make this defense think. You've put them back on their heels. Now, shoot, Palmer, you might be able to slip a few runs in on this drive to really jack them up. Yeah, I like that idea, but I also like the fact that speed kills. They've got it at the receiver position, so if you've got one-on-one -on -one matchups, man, take advantage. Trying to get a rhythm in the passing game. Now on second down. Oh, he's going to try to get it all here. Touchdown, Bulldogs! And they take it in for six more points. Like a Thanksgiving turkey. There's being caught. 
no shot. They have no idea how to get in this quarterback's head. He's on fire. Everything he's doing is working defensively. You've got to figure something out. You've got to try to do something a little bit different. Bring more pressure. At this rate, shoot, he's on so much fire, you might as well just send everybody. Blitz everybody, live with the results, because everything else ain't working anyways. The AT unit on the field. And the extra point will tack another one onto this lead. This offense prides itself on going after you, and they did with that long touchdown pass to finish off a two-play drive. The kickoff team takes the field to boot this one away. He'll start the return inside his five. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. Ole Miss ready to send the offense onto the field. They're down by 21 points, but you get a touchdown here, and you do at least apply a little game prep. Hit the afterburners, kid. Ripped off a huge chunk play on that one as he gets the first down before he steps out of bounds. As a defense, it's so hard covering this guy. Because of his frame, you're not really going to match up. But this guy's also got some wheels. The hard part is bringing him down after the catch. This guy's like a giant giraffe. You're just lions hanging on his neck trying to drag him to the ground. Not easy to do. Looking downfield, it's Dart. Throws toward the end zone. And he's got it! Touchdown, Rebels! How about that quarterback taking the shot downfield and delivering to the wide open receiver? I love this quarterback, Reese, because he's aggressive. He wants to take shots. He's looking for every opportunity to show off that cannon and that arm talent. He showed it to all of us right there. Getting set for the point after. And with the extra point, they're now down 31-17. Aggressive play calling on that drive. Just two plays, they get the long touchdown pass to pay it off. They've got it down to a two touchdown deficit, trailing by 14 and about to kick it away. He thought about bringing that out for a half second, but he'll take a knee and they'll bring it to the 25. We're ready to get another look at this Bulldog offense. This offense has really been clicking in the game so far, Jesse. No doubt. Everything their play caller is dialing up, these guys offensively have been able to go out and execute. Yeah, and it's just maintaining the lead. Keep doing what you've been doing. you got a big lead. Let's just keep piling it on until they find an answer. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. Wide receiver coming across in motion. Caught in the backfield. It's Bell. Really nice job there by both guys to throw and the catch to work that defense and get the first down. The Dogs have had a long history of scrappy and efficient quarterbacks. Add a little star power to it, and you've got something working. You definitely get a little extra something, something. We see it all across college football. You find that dude at the quarterback spot. It takes you from good to great, and you've seen that with Georgia over the last several seasons. That is just a sideline credit. Whoa, catch, toe drag, everything you want. Dogs pick up the first down through the air and the Georgia faithful starting to howl and bark. And we've seen that in the past with Georgia. Maybe you get a little bit conservative, a little bit too much reliant on great defense, run the football. The reason that they broke through, the reason they started winning championships in the recent era, they became more aggressive, more dynamic throwing the football down the field. Great team defense on that one play. Everybody doing their job. People winning their one-on-ones. D linemen staying in their gaps. Linebackers and DBs filling. You just can't do it better. They got nothing on the last play. It's second and ten. Off play action. 
And a little too much adrenaline on that throw never gave his receiver a chance. They line up, and it is a long way to the sticks from here. Third and long, and he'll try to throw for it. Fires to the wideout. Makes a connection. He stopped just short of the goal line at the one. An explosive play has him set up. This dude is just exceptional in every facet. So fluid, such a great route runner, and a big play there. And money down, third down, find him. I mean, you want to find that matchup because he's going to win. And it's a good release, gets down the field. You see, his that's your playmaker, that's your guy. Get it to him, get the first down. The huge play got him on the porch, but now they got a kick in the door. The offense showing motion from the tight end, trying to get a read on the D. Coming out on first down with the play fake. Got it! They will score! Touchdown, dogs! This is like a baseball pitcher that can't miss. He is just pounding, pounding, pounding the strike zone. That just gets in the zone, right? When you can't miss, you, you, you've seen quarterbacks get like that. No matter what they do, they're on fire. They're hitting the receivers. And listen, that's also on the defense. The defense has to do a better job making him feel uncomfortable, changing what they're doing in coverage so he's a little bit confused. You can't just let him pick you apart. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. The kick is up and good and put one more on the lead. That is an efficient drive. Seven plays, 75 yards. It was capped off by a one-yard touchdown pass. They're lining up to boot it away. He'll bring it back from inside his five. And good work by the coverage team to knock down the return man. The Ole Miss offense ready to go back to work. Trailing by three touchdowns. If you're going to get back in it, David, the time to start is right now. Got to start now. Defense giving up points on that last possession. Again, the offense is going to have to score. And Jesse, probably score pretty quickly. Yeah, you got to go tempo. You're going to have to try to fit in as many plays as you can throughout the rest of this game. But I think more than that, you got to eliminate the negative plays. No more penalties and no more turnovers. Looking to throw. It's dark. Fires to the big fella. And he'll step out of bounds after a very productive play. Well, a nice completion there, finding the tight end. And what's so beautiful about that is while they didn't get the first, they were able to pick up enough yards now to make the third down manageable. Really putting this offense in a good position. And the Rebels are in the hurry up. They're going to go to the air on third and short. Quickly out to the tight end. He gets it oh so close to the first down marker, but I think he's going to be a touch short. Hey, really nice job on defense, too. Understanding the situation. It's third down. We're fine giving up completions right there, but we're not giving up the first down. We're keeping the football and the ball carrier in front of us, and we're tackling the catch. Awesome job, and now you've set up fourth down. And the returner could find no daylight. He goes down. And Georgia ready to go back to work on offense. There have been few obstacles for this offense as they are starting to pull away here in the second half, Jesse. And this has been a dream game for this play caller too, right? It's like anything that he's calling is working flawlessly. Yeah, it's fun to be the offensive coordinator, but not the defensive coordinator. They have had no answers. It's been an absolutely miserable day trying to solve the riddle of this offense. That incompletion leads to second down and 10. He's looking to throw. Grabbed over the middle. It's young. And a good job in coverage there as they stop it after just a few. It's a nice job running the in route there by the receiver. And the best thing he did after he made his break, he didn't trail and fade away. He actually attacked the football. That's a good lesson for young receivers out there watching. Third down conversions are a huge stat, and this one would be a doozy if they can pull it off. 
Makes the grab. The defense got caught that time, and they finally get him on the ground at the 41. Well, how about the offense setting that play up? We've seen earlier in the game a couple of shorter throws. They're just trying to suck those safeties closer to the line of scrimmage, anticipating that they would get an opportunity to take a shot. They called the perfect play at the perfect time right there. Movement here from the tight end. Red pass, it's complete. He's brought down quickly. Minimal gain there, still a bit short of the first down. Kept it on the ground last time, bringing up a second down. Looking downfield, it's back. Wide open downfield. They make the stop if this passing game does some damage and they move the sticks with the first down. And now he's in the 400 club, 4 0 That's a pretty good day at the office when you're putting up over 400 yards. This defense hadn't had a lot of answers. This Georgia offense moving quickly down the field. Going up top on first down. Can't find his man as he took a shot trying to deliver that football, and it'll be second down. Well, on offense, no doubt, right? You've had success. You're throwing some tutties. Why not keep throwing it? They're going to keep being aggressive. They're going to have to do a better job, though, keeping this quarterback standing up. Second and ten after the previous play. They'll put the tight end in motion. grab behind the line. It's Lovett. And he'll run across the sidelines after the good game. Man, this guy is so dynamic, and that's why you want to try to get him the ball as many ways as you can. That time, it's a screen throw, and he had some nice blocks downfield, but with his speed and elusive running ability, this dude is dangerous. Boy, they'd love to pick up this conversion and go to work with a first and goal. They'll try to move the chains on the ground. And the defense had his hands full, but they finally wrestle him down short of the first down. They'll send out the kicker to try to salvage this drive. Splits the uprights right down the middle. And now the lead is extended a little further. Georgia, 41, Coleman, 70. That lead just keeps Number getting nine. fatter and this kickoff team doing a little running. On the run from inside his own five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. Ole Miss ready to send the offense onto the field. They face a pretty tall mountain here, Jesse, down 24, but if they're going to climb it, this is a... He tries to take the top off. And that is interception number three on the day. He was thinking big return, didn't get that, but boy, did he give his offense an opportunity at the 31. Not all guys have the ability to, to break on the football, go make a play, and catch it. You know, you play defense for a reason. A lot of wide receivers are the ones that do most of the catching. Great job by the defense securing the INT. First play of this drive will start from the 31-yard line. Fast motion from the offense. Pulls and fires complete. They stop him almost immediately. Short gain there and still a little ground cover to pick up the first. Knowing that your man can make the catch against his defender, that wasn't a big play, but it can set you up down the line to be able to take advantage. Yes, get it to him as fast as I can. When I see him open, he runs the little hitch, get it to him so he can make a little bit of yards after the catch, and eventually that little gain, he's going to bust one of those with his athletic ability. 
He's really close to that first down marker, but they stop him just a bit short. And the defense has their hands full trying to stop this guy in the slot. They're going to have to figure something out to bracket him, try and get two bodies around him, maybe get some safety help as well, because right now they do not have the answer for this guy. They plow ahead with the run, but still more ground needed to pick up the first down. Third down coming. They get him on the ground, but it's a first down. Well, there we go. We finally see some life in this offense running the football. Nice game to pick up the first down. Got to get more of that going moving forward because they have not run it well. And the Bulldogs will line it up on first and ten. They're going to ride this running back. And they picked up nine on first down. It'll bring up second and short. Well, I know it's sexy to throw the football, but if you can pound it away and get these kind of gains, they will just add up, wear the defense down, get first downs, and ultimately get some points. Nine-yard pickup on first down, and now they can take a shot on second and short. They move the tight end all over. The RPO, fire complete to the left. They make the tackle, but he's got enough to give Georgia a first down. Man down on the play as the officials take a break to let him be checked out. Now they've got it at the 44 on first and 10. Grabbed in the backfield. It's dealt. And he's a real nowhere man tackled in this no-game land. I like the idea by the quarterback there. You're trying to get this first down, so you find the tight end, see if you can make a guy miss or shake a tackle. Not able to get it done. This offense has a second down play. To the air. It's back. Dumps it off in the flats. He's there to make the stop, and they threw it in reverse, losing yardage on that play. Love the play by the defense. They just did a good job understanding where the running back was on that play. After the catch, they're able to make the tackle right away, and now they've set up third down. Seventh play of the drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. From the gun, wants to pass. A strike downfield. Chopping up this defense, and they've got it all the way down to the 23. This dude is putting up numbers. He just cracked the 150 mark in receiving yards. Man, he's a weapon, Reese. He runs routes. He's fast. He's great with the football in his hands, and he can line up in a lot of different spots and run the entire route tree. I mean, what can't this guy do? Moving the running back, trying to get the D to tip its hand. Got it in the middle. It's dealt. And he runs through one tackle and picks up a few. It's amazing how fluid and potent an offense can seem when you get a great pickup on first down and the tight end's a terrific place to go. Tight ends nowadays are kind of like cheat codes. I mean, they, they just know so much about right here. Seeing zone, no one to sit it down. Boom, positive yards, nice positive play for this offense. A shot toward the end zone. And he wanted to get the score right there, but it falls incomplete. Paul hasn't hit the ground a lot for this QB. He's already thrown four TD passes. He saw a look, wanted to take another shot, and that time they just fall short with the incompletion. But this defense, they have not had the answer with respect to defending the pass in this game. They want to throw it. Had to throw it before he wanted. Another incompletion on third down. Yeah, and third and short, they choose not to run, throw the football, and I think a lot of that has to do with they know they're in field goal range. They can take the three points on the board. And this kicker is turning into old reliable. He's already knocked through a couple today. He'll line it up from 34 yards out. It is true as he puts three on the board. And they'll push that lead out a little further. They're really starting to extend that lead as they get ready to kick it away again. 
on the move from inside his five. And good work by the coverage team to get the return man down on the ground. The Ole Miss offense ready to go back to work. Well, the good news about this drive, Jesse, it can't go worse than last time through a pick on the first play. No, it certainly can't. I think one good way, David, to help your quarterback turn the page is just find him an easy completion here and let him get back into a rhythm. Yeah, or find him an easy handoff. Just hand the football off, maybe get the ground game going, maybe jumpstart this offense a little bit. Didn't get much done on that first play of the drive. It's second and 11. From the gun, the running back looking for room. Finds his way ahead for three out to the 16. A third and long coming up here. Looking to pass. It's Dart. Got his man downfield. Afterburner's coming. And the tackle is made, but not before that completion gets them 30-plus. Well, Reese, you and I were talking about this before the game. How is this defense going to be able to deal with all the speed they have offensively? You saw them just rip off a big play. And, Jesse, now their head's spinning just a little bit. Give up a big chunk play, and it's right back at them. The Rebels will have it first and ten. Running back searching for a hole. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Great running backs consistently make people miss. And he did a really good job of breaking one tackle, but he couldn't do it to the next, and to the next, and to the next. The offensive line is going to have to do a lot better job, giving him some more space so he can get out in the open field and make some plays for this offense. And you want to talk about his favorite receiver, it might be everybody based on the number of guys getting touches and a chance to show off their hands in the passing game. As we start the fourth quarter, it'll take a pretty sizable comeback to win this one. They'll line up for a second down play. He's looking to throw. That's caught. It's Wells. Finally run out of bounds, but he has this offense rolling with a first down. And with that pass right there, over 300 yards. That's a good day at the office. Being able to execute, doing a good job seeing what's coming, anticipating, taking some shots today, but has held really strong, put up some good numbers. Reads it, fires complete. And they pick up just a few on that completion. Great play by the cornerback. He was just way too physical at the point of attack. He beat his man trying to block him, and he tackled that receiver on the screen. And the Rebels are threatening in the red zone. The play action fake. Quarterback moving. And he can find a receiver, and down he goes. And this defense came to play. They know about the high-profile QB. They rose to the challenge and dominated the competition today. They took care of business, and they made no doubt about who's the better football team. They've moved it to the 25, but now facing a third and long. It's a draw. And sure, tackling there to keep him from getting to the first down marker. Brings up fourth down. Down by multiple possessions. They can't come up empty on this drive in the fourth quarter. They'll go for it on fourth down. He'll try to throw and pick up the first down. And they add six more to the board with that trip to the house. 
number 19. Yeah, nice pitch, that nice catch. And listen, maybe this helps next game, right? Like we're trying to find a rhythm, find something that works, find somebody to go to. And this offense is struggling. You're down by a thousand, but I like that they continue to fight. Ready to try the point the after. On for the extra point. Right down the boulevard. That makes the score. Georgia, 44, Ole Miss. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. Set to kick this one away. And they desperately wanted to attempt a return, but decided not to. Instead, they'll take the touchback. Hands it off. And he fights his way forward, gets away from one, but not much doing on that one. Man, nowhere to run on that play at all. About all you can say is do better. But that's the problem. Are they able to do better? And that's why you keep trying things, right? Keep trying to get on the perimeter, run it up the middle, try different things to see what you do well. To throw, it's back. Finds his man in the middle. Really confident throw and catch there. Big pickup, and they have a first down. Well, I tell you, man, this guy's been putting on a show all game long. We've seen his decision-making. We've seen his athleticism. Because of him, they've got this huge lead in the fourth quarter. So why stop throwing it? Just keep it going when the going's good. From the gun, give on the inside. They can rely on this guy to pick up solid yardage when they need it, and he's out to the 43. It's a point in the game, I think, as a coaching staff, where you really challenge your offensive line to go win the football game, right? We've got a lead late. We're going to run the football, and the defense and everybody in the stadium knows that's what's going to happen. Can we run the ball down their throats and impose our will? That's what this offense right now is trying to do. But how about that defense on the snap? They are in the backfield with great penetration. Nowhere to go for the running back. That defense was sitting on G, waiting on O. If they can convert here, that type of play can really give you a shot of momentum. Wide out in motion. Off the bootleg, looking to fire. And the quarterback is snowed under. I think if you're the head coach here, it's a bit of a mixed reaction to your passing attack so far in this game. You put up a bunch of yards throwing the football, you've lit up the scoreboard, but you've also given up four sacks. Pass protection has been a problem so far in this game. Georgia sent out the punt team. Let's see if he can help the coverage team out with this one. Fair catch called for and made around the 20-yard line. Ole Miss ready to send the offense onto the field. Scanning the field, it's Dart. Catch open down the middle. He's there to make the stop, but the damage has been done as they pick up the first down on the throw and catch. Nice job by the quarterback, pre-snap and post-snap. He knew the defense was going to be playing zone coverage, and there was no doubt in his mind where he was going with that football. The Rebels racing to the line in the hurry up. He'll come out throwing on first down. Got away from trouble and got rid of it. Finds his man. It's Wells. He's brought down solid pickup, but a little bit short of the first down. It's so nice as a quarterback when you've got a guy like that working for you in the slot. He has such a good feel to find the open spaces in the defense. Just makes life so much easier for his quarterback. Now on second down. They'll run play action. Throws toward the end zone. And it's caught! Touchdown, Rebels! 
A lot of times you see those receivers as soon as they get by the DBs, you know, the hand goes straight up in the air. I got him. I got a step on him. He got a step on him, and the ball was thrown perfectly out in front. You can see he runs underneath it, gets it, and gets the long touchdown on the go route. Lining up for the PAT. Splits those uprights right in half. Quick strike offense on that three-play scoring drive. And the scoring play coming on a 56-yard touchdown pass. Trying to get back in this game with that last score. It's a 13-point game as they're set to kick off. Fielded in the end zone, it's Etienne. Stopped at the 17, and he's probably second-guessing that return. We're ready to get another look at this Bulldog offense. After giving up that last touchdown, they still got the lead, but now feeling a little bit of pressure to answer with one of their own, David. And it gets a little bit tight. Listen, we're getting later in the ball game. This offense punted last time. They got to find a few plays, Palmer, that they really love here. Steal some momentum back in this ball game. They do, David, and after watching their defense just get gashed down the field that last drive, the dream drive for this offense would be to matriculate the ball down the field, eat up some clock, and finish it off with a touchdown. Finds a tight end, and the defense settled in to stop that one for a short game. Oh, that's a really nice catch by the big tight end, throwing those mitts up there, catching the football. So what do they have for third and short from their own 23? Wide receiver now comes in motion. Back to throw, it's back. Shoots it to the left. Can't make the connection on third down thanks to that tough, hard-nosed pass defense, and now it's fourth down. I think in this situation after that incompletion, fourth and short on your side of the field, the smart play is to punt it away and trust your defense. Georgia lining up to punt it away. He's getting a lot of work. Fourth time he's punted tonight. He'll call for the fair catch here. The Ole Miss offense ready to go back to work. On the run, it's Parrish. They get him stopped at the 32. That's a gain of four. Listen, that wasn't the greatest run in the world, but it was very successful, and you're making me honor the run. And another thing, every time you run the football, someone gets tackled. There's physicality involved in the game. So I like when offenses commit to the run in the football, no matter what the outcome is, because those body blows do add up. From the gun, the running back tries to hit the hole. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Well, there was just nowhere to go for the runner on that last play. Just way too much penetration up front. As a result, they lose yardage. Ball's at the 29. Defense can taste getting off the field. It's third and long. From the gun, wants to pass. Got it behind the line. It's Priest Corn. He is going nowhere. Stop at the line of scrimmage. And listen, everything's four down territory at this point when you're trailing by this much late in the game. So it's okay you didn't get the first down there, but now the pressure's on to convert this. Otherwise, it's ball game. Down in the fourth quarter, it's too late for empty possessions. They'll go for it on fourth down. He'll try to throw and pick up the first down. And they'll finally get him down after a terrific pickup. I think if you're the head coach at this point, you're telling your offense, it doesn't matter what's happened up at this point of the game. Obviously, things haven't gone our way, but we have a chance to execute in a two-minute situation and give ourselves a chance to win. Let's go do it one play at a time. And the Rebels want to pick up the tempo. Off play action on first down. Got it in the middle, it's Wells. They're ripping off chunks of yardage. They get it to the 33. 
This is an offense that has skill, and they've got speed. And because of that, this defense, they can't lull themselves to sleep. They've got a big lead here late, but they've now given up back-to-back -back big plays. they got to put the clamps down. The Rebels look to keep this drive humming. They'll run it out of the shotgun. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Don't you love energetic defenses that fly around, that make things happen? The ones that get in the backfield, the running back tries to go somewhere. Where do you want him to go? There, there is nowhere to go. Nice job by the defense, creating the tackle for a loss on first down. After losing a couple on that last play, here's second and 12. They'll run behind the big guys on the right. They get him stopped at the 30, but not before he gets five yards. I like this guy as a running back because he can run between the tackles and he can also go outside. He can really do it all. Third and long from the 30-yard line in this defense, hoping to knock him out of field goal range. Out of the gun, the inside kick. Now he's got it all the way down to the 21-yard line, and they are threatening on first down. And another nice gain by the offense. All right, defense, we've got to change something up here. They're, they're putting a big drive together, play after play, having a lot of success. How do we break the rhythm? How do we give them something that can create a tackle for a loss or a sack or something to get momentum back on my side? From the gun, they'll try the middle. Bounced right back to them. Man, what a break. Great job falling on the football. Great job having some awareness. The, the running back coughed it up, but teammates there to pick him up, fall on the football. Listen, it's lucky, but it's a good job by the offense. And the Rebels light it up with a first and goal. They'll try to get it in with the run. like comeback is underway well if the momentum hadn't shifted before it certainly has now it has and now you got some game pressure right that's beautiful now the defense comes out get you a stop get aggressive but the offense a little bit of pressure now because they know if the ball goes back to the other side they could lose this ball game They'll try to tack one more on their score. And with the extra point, every little bit counts as they get closer. They put together a 74-yard touchdown drive, and he got into the house from the six to finish it. About to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. He'll bring it out. It's Bell. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. And Georgia ready to go back to work on offense. They'll run it to keep the clock moving. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. And I think if you're the head coach, defensively now, obviously, you've got three timeouts in your back pocket. You're trailing at this point, and the offense is going to be running the football, trying to bleed the clock. They're going to take as much time off the game clock as they can before snapping it. You've got to start thinking about using some of those timeouts. Looking to throw, it's back. Fires left. He makes a catch. And they're able to get him down. Nice job there. Good timing between the QB and the wide receiver executing that out route. So they're facing third and short from the 25. To the ground to try to move the chains. And he's knocked down, but not before moving the chains. You don't always have to run the sexy place, right? It doesn't have to always be up-tempo and fast and spread and doing all this stuff. Sometimes you just lower your shoulder. Sometimes you just run powerfully. You get the first down, and that's all that matters. Georgia coming out with a fresh set of downs.
They're getting this guy lathered up. Finds enough room to get three out to the 34. We have arrived at the two-minute warning, a one-possession game as this offense tries to hold on. Linebackers trying to create some confusion. At this point, the defense has little choice but to sell out to stop the run on second and seven. Hand off from the shotgun. Good pick up on the ground, and they'll mark him down at the 39. Timeout called there by the defense, desperate to get the ball back and save as much time as possible. Big third down play here. If they get a stop, you'll see an immediate timeout. They'll try to pick it up on the ground. They were all over him. Nowhere to go as that third down play turned into a disaster. Defense is about seeing it and pulling the trigger. And you can tell they pull the trigger so fast. Get to the back. Get him on the ground quickly. Fourth down and the punt team sends it the other way. No return coming. He'll call for the fair catch. A first down for the offense. To the air. It's dark. Makes his connection. And he's brought down after a nice game. Let me tell you, this senior quarterback can flat fit it in a tight window. And you've created some great momentum, getting the stop, forcing the punt, now getting it back to your offense. Your offense starting to get in a groove. Late in the game, you need some big plays. You just wonder how much panic there is right now on the defensive side of the football, too, because of what you just said, David. They can feel and sense the momentum leaving them right now with the lead. So someone defensively better step up here soon and make a play. You know, the defense, they just haven't been able to find an answer for this guy throughout the course of the game. Obviously, he's got two touchdowns, picks up the first down there. They've tried doubling him. They've tried man coverage, zone coverage. Nothing working on defense. They can't stop him. To the air on first down. A deep throw as the clock winds down. And they are pushing the ball down the field. A big pickup on that one, and the tackle is finally made. That's what's so scary about this offense. They've got guys in the perimeter that can change the game in one single play, and you saw it right there. Too much speed on the perimeter to create that explosive play. Defense backed up in this crowd, trying to will them to get a big stop late. Makes the grab on the left. That completion will take them inside the 10 to the 9-yard line. It'll be second down, and remember, they can pick up a first without scoring. On second down, he'll let it fly. And that drive right there is exactly what you dream about. That's how you want your offense to perform. Under a clutch situation, you take the ball down the field, get the score, and now an extra point away from taking the lead late in this ball game. He'll try to tack on one more. And the extra point gives them a one-point lead here in the fourth. A very efficient five-way scoring drive. And they cap things off with a nine-yard touchdown pass. They're just about ready to kick it away. Here he comes from inside his own five. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. We're ready to get another look at this Bulldog offense. Feeling some heat. And he's all bottled up, and now it's worse. The ball's loose. Oh, the fumble, and the defense got it. And this defense breaks it open as they return it to the house for six. You know, the defense is all about stopping teams, but when you have a chance to swing momentum, scoop it and score yourself, it is such a huge play. Yeah, you just go over to the offense and be like, bro, we don't need you today. We got this. We'll, we'll, we'll score ourselves if we have to. Great job by the defense doing what they need to do, and then go talk a little trash to the offense. Lining up to add another. Oh, 
and right down the boulevard on the extra point. And now it'll take a touchdown and a two-point conversion to force overtime. They're just about to kick it off after that scoop and score six. Looking for blockers. And the return man has no place to run, no place to hide, and a place to be tackled. Got to get everybody lined up quickly. Time winding away, and they've got to push the ball down the field. It's caught. The offense uses a timeout. 15 seconds left to play. Well, this is a game this quarterback is going to remember for a very long time. There's not many where you get close to 500 yards passing. That's what he has. A Heisman-worthy performance. It's caught downfield. They get the timeout called. 11 seconds remaining to play. No time to waste here. They've got to get set and pick up chunk yardage. Trying to find his man on first down. Bought a little time. Let's it go. Back open in the middle. They'll use the timeout. Six seconds left on the clock. Got some of the work done on first. Now let's see what they have on second down. Back to pass. It's back. Coming after it. And the ball comes out. What a disastrous play. Defense swarming on that loose ball. It'll be a turnover. Their work here is virtually done. No need to take any more chances. They'll line up in victory formation. Happy with the situation, the quarterback will take a knee. 